to another weekly vlog. I have actually been just getting stuff done. I just have just been rolling it out. I've done breakfast, the clean up, I've done packed lunch, I've done the dishwasher. I've actually washed up my slow cooker bowl by hand because I need to use it when I get back from the gym. I've done beds, I've got the school kids clothes out and um, yeah, I'm just literally finishing off my breakfast sort of smoothie. I hope you had a good weekend. I did a market with Graham on Saturday in London. Oh, well, the dog's barking. Kids are, are running around playing a game. So we've got like about 35 minutes before we need to go to school. So I just let them play for a bit before they have to get dressed. Um, yeah, I did a market with Graham. It was, oh my God, it was so cold. I am so pleased though that it wasn't raining, but it was absolutely freezing. Um, yeah, we had a good good market though. And then yesterday I literally just did chores, the like ironing, and just had a really lazy PJ day. Peace in this house, I tell you. They're like running around thinking there's a, zombies chasing them. It's, it's not actually that nice. While it really gets scared as well. Yeah, I just want to say thank you for all your positive comments from my last video um you know it's always nice to obviously know that i'm not the only one going through the same thing because boys and girls at this age i have read quite a lot about their hormonal changes and stuff but yeah you've given me lots of tips and advice and it's just been lovely because obviously it's so um, i'm sure she'll go through it as well which is the, work, the horriblest thought playing? ever because it's just been so tough at the moment. I have a dilemma this morning. My gym emailed me to say that they are shutting the gym. They didn't say for how long for maintenance purposes. And to be honest, like over the last few weeks, especially last week when we had that crazy rain, very hazardous. I kept saying to my friend, Oh, I wonder when they're going to sort this place out because there was literally drips of water from the roof from all different patches of the gym itself. Very dangerous. They had loads of signs out saying, um, you know, those yellow signs, like slippery here or whatever, that, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, so my gym is actually closed currently. It has given me the boost and kick up the bum though to find a better gym because the gym that I go to is pretty naff. It's cheap, but it it's it's naff. Like it has the very bare minimum minimum basics of the a usual gym. They have only evening spinning classes, and that's pretty much that. Um, but the one down the road, which is a little bit further out, is only. I actually looked into it off peak. If I go between nine and four Monday to Friday, and then you can use it all day Saturday and Sunday, it's only thirty five pounds a month. So actually only about five pounds maybe a little bit more a month than my one that i'm using now and it has a ton of classes and the gym is like only a couple years old and it's massive so i'm tempted to do that um graham said it probably be better for me for like trying to find clients as well but when i finish my personal training course which which is also quite true so i'm gonna see if i can go in there today and maybe potentially get an induction booked in um yeah find a new gym she's still got my gym stuff on because i'm gonna be motivated and i'm gonna come home and do a t25 work I'm back home i'm about to do my core cardio beta so wish me luck i haven't done this in a very long time um, i'm actually going to set my watch um, i can set it to workout mode so it just tracks my workout Okay, 
washing on, I'm just going to do a quick slow cooker dinner. I'm going to film actually teriyaki chicken. I don't think I've done it before. I will double check. But it's a really easy slow cooker dinner. Really tasty as well. And the kids absolutely love it because it just turns into like a sticky sort of chicken. And then you just serve it with rice or veggies or whatever. Um, so yeah, I've got my camera out to do that. It won't take me no more than 15 minutes, probably. I have sorted myself out. I actually put a couple of curls in my hair just around the front. I just thought, why not? I've got a few more minutes. Um, yeah, I've done the chicken. I've sorted myself out. So dinner's on the, on the go. Um, I faffed around a little bit, but I need to get a lot of charity stuff into my boot now. So that's basically what I'm going to do. I've got to pick up a Jules order. I'm a little bit wet. Decided to put a rain mac on. Loaded up with stuff to take. Um, don't worry, I'm not taking the scooter. Um, to take to the charity shop. Oh, it's left a massive space in the office now, which is so good. And uh, there's a couple of bits that I put on eBay that are going to be picked up over the weekend, I think. God, it is so wet. I thought I'd quickly go into the local ledge centre and um, oh, sort that out. Had a little tour of the gym. I completely remember it when I was there. I did sign up to it about five years ago when I had Phyla, just a few months after. I did like one of their um, January deals. It was cheap, but then I didn't end up going back just because obviously with a new baby, I just found it impossible. Yeah, it was really nice actually. I got loads of leaflets from my friend as well because she's thinking about joining. Um, loads of classes. If I do the off-peak, it only makes it £34 a month instead of £44. Yeah, anyway, it's still peeing it down. I'm literally going to drop off this stuff at the charity shop. I need to go get a pick up a jewels order. I picked up some stuff in their sale. Not much, just a couple bits. Mainly, actually, a few t-shirts for Alistair. He's been doing so great in the sales at the moment compared to Violet. Right, I have literally just got back, Ooh, feeling very flustered and frazzled. Um, oh God, um, I'll show you what I've got. Um, Violet's actually got um, a little birthday party in about two weeks, I think. I can't remember when it is, but um, yeah, it's a little boy's birthday. And I just thought, oh, let's just get his present done so I actually went to Paper Chase because um, I got one of their lo loyalty cards before Christmas and then for your birthday they give you fiver and 15% off so I went in there, went into the sale and it, it goes towards the sale as well so I got all these items which should have been I think about £9.60 in the sale um, and I got them for £3.16p so I got him this little um, sort of jug not jug, you know what I mean, a little cup which I thought was quite cute. It's all kind of the same theme. It's like this little sort of sea theme. So I got him that. I mean, alone that was three pounds in the sale, half price. I got him another um, another of these cards. I got this one for Alistair's friend the other day. But again, this was still in the sale, so I got that card. I got him just a sketchbook, it's A5. It's just white paper, but you know what kids are like. I thought, same theme as well. And then this one was half price at £3.50, but obviously pretty much free. Um, it's just a little one of those cases with lots of um, sort of stuff inside it. So that is pretty much my bargain of today. That's the present done and only spent £3, which is just amazing because all these birthday parties can get so expensive. What I got from Jules, all these tops, um, this one was £4.46 and the rest of them were £6.26 on sale and if you look at the prices they're originally nearly £17 a t-shirt so I got those for Alistair, I got them in the bigger size and then the only other thing that I got which I got for £17.96 which was originally um, nearly £40, I got like this long line sort of tunic it up to me so basically it's just black and white it has zips um, at the top here and to be honest I would have usually gotten a six just because some oversized stuff in jewels can be too oversized and just drown me but this actually seems okay and I think with like leggings or jeans like grey jeans I think or tights would look really quite nice it's just got the sort of black panel there like a, it's, I think you, I could potentially wear it as a dress because I'm so short. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try it on anyway later. I hate paying full price for things. I'm such a cheapskate. I love nice things, but 
I am so, I'm someone that just loves finding the bargains. I just think sometimes you just don't have to pay the full amount. There's always a way of getting something a little bit cheaper, whether it's a discount code, click and collect, anything like that. She waiting on a delivery from Parcel Force. We actually ordered a few days ago now, ordered um, some new stools for our breakfast bar in the kitchen we've had the same ones for quite a few years they are shocking <laughs> they squeak like crazy all the adjustments like the, the little bars that should be here um if you can see that yeah should be here have broken off can't get them back on they just literally snapped um and obviously they are well well worn so we decided to order some new ones managed to get some from a company called cult furniture it's a um they have a store in london and they had a really really good sale these were reduced um obviously i'll show them when they come but these were reduced i'm hoping they're gonna match and just go in like and look nice you know when you're just buying something online you don't know exactly how they're gonna be um but they're originally 79 each down to 39 pounds each so yeah, I think that's a good deal. Just putting in another load of washing. I just transferred the one over to um, the tumble dryer. Graham's coming back for lunch. I've got puppies. Where the puppies? Oh, big ones. I've got one, the big one. Oh, is that a really good smelly armpit? <laughs> yeah, we're going to have lunch. Yeah, I made some of the Abel and Cole soup. So I actually made the potato, leek and almond soup. So we're gonna have that for lunch and then I've been trying to ring the doctor. I've literally been trying to ring the doctor all morning because I want to get myself booked in and talk to a doctor. I haven't been to the doctors for years so I don't have a specific doctor anymore because my doctor left. Um, but anyway, I want to speak to someone about getting the marina coil or just talking about contraception, that sort of thing. But I can't seem to get through. I know it's Monday and it's generally a busy day but I've been trying all morning I had one of these but i made some yummy blueberry muffins yesterday and i did these dark chocolate rice crispy things as well surprising how quick that box is going down that was pretty full wasn't it mr wit i'm surprised i won't be surprised if alice has been munching through that in the morning knowing him so even graham likes these and he's not a big fan of uh, blueberries are you do you like them really? <laughs> <laughs> you fibber just got back from school around the kids. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, Finding snacks. Um, and yeah, I've got washing to fold. Bunny. It's making um, some soup. Uh, the carrot one, just one of the Abel and Cole ones, but my right, parcel arrived. This is the company that we used, by the way. But it, looked, it looks like a good company. This is La. just designer What's furniture, it's it? quite modern. La. They stacked. I can't say. It's not very interesting. Right? No, it's not that interesting. Okay, so they look very bland. Like to look at them, they're, they're basically quite narrow to slide under. I don't like the black feet, but I think actually we could. They're not really sharp the bottom, so I think I could probably get white replacements or um, just some soft soft pads to stick on them. I think Ikea do those, but I don't really like the black feet. I think that's a bit of a weird contrast on there. Um, but yeah, they're basically just a metal frame. And then what I loved about them was they had a pure wooden tops and like kind of like your bum indent. And they're quite wide. So yeah, I'm hoping that they're gonna go, but I thought they just looked really nice. Kind of slight, you know, modern, obviously. Mommy, just. I need the toilet. <laughs> Mommy, Violet needs to go to the toilet. Because... Well, let her out then. Okay. I'm going to model one now just to see if it's any good. In uh, Also, the height, I had to make sure. So, um, yeah, these are the ones we've got at the moment. They're mishmashed because two of those broke, two of those broke. And, yeah, we just ended up with two having to replace them all the time. But yeah, I think they're going to be alright actually for the kids because Violet sits a little higher and I want to make sure they were at a good Freedom. height. I think these are like 74 centimetres, I think, from top to bottom, That's something like that. But whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. so why don't you decorate it or make it into something? Yeah, decorate it! I can't. 
Oh, oh, just get your colouring pens out and just colour it in. No, I want to decorate it. <laughs> so much fun with the box. Dinner table. <laughs> Well, don't make it wet because that will seep through, won't it? Can we have dinner here? You have to ask Daddy. See what he says. Yeah! Everybody, Tuesday. I went to bed nice and early last night. I didn't feel that great. I still woke up with a little bit of a headache, actually. I've just had, like, this lingering headache for the last day or so. It doesn't seem to be going into anything harsh, but it just makes me feel a bit crap and a little, a tiny little bit nauseous. It's very weird. I'm excited. What? I'm going to be trying out my new gym. I've got a new gym to go to. You know where you go swimming? Yeah. There's a gym in there. Mummy's joining the gym. So I can do gym classes and all sorts. And this I've also got a soft play as well. Mummy. Yeah? Cranky me. I just made this word up. Cranky means that first, this is quite good writing. Look. Okay. It's quite okay. good. Okay. That's good. Right. Off to school. It feels pretty dark today. It's mild though. It's four degrees, so a bit wet. I just got to my gym. It was a little bit chaotic. Slight stress levels, thanks to some stupid lady. You know, you just think, why can't they just get in the right lane? So many people get in. Like, if you don't know your like highway code, bloody redo it. But get in so many wrong lanes. It's so fr flipping frustrating. Um, trying to cut me up and you know you just think there's a flipping traffic everybody else is queuing why don't you bloody queue so i had a beeping match with someone thank god she got behind me in the end but <sighs> anyway i'm going in i am back from the gym my first session at my new gym i absolutely loved it i was chatting to the lady as well the staff were really nice and um yeah, now I've got my card so I can book online to classes and stuff. I can book up eight days before as well. Apparently they get really booked up and I'm going to literally book myself in for every class just to see which ones I really, really like. Um, but yeah, I had so many more machines. So I actually was in there a lot longer than I thought. Um, and my legs absolutely killing me. So I had a really good workout. Um, and it was surprisingly quiet, like it just started dying off and nobody was there. It was quite nice, so I might even potentially be able to start filming a bit more in there and showing you what I get up to. Um, yeah, I've got to do dinner now, so I'm going to put that in the slow cooker. I'm doing faggots. Uh, Graham makes these amazing, like, beef faggots. Yes, and I'm, I'm going to literally put them in the slow cooker with a load of onion gravy, uh, mushrooms and just let that cook throughout the day and then he can serve it up with, I've got like a, a bag mixed of, um, I think it's butternut squash and sweet potato so he could roast that um, later on. Obviously I'm at college today so I won't be able to do dinner for them but I can prepare it so yeah that's what I'm doing. <laughs> My arm's aching. <laughs> to book my doctor's appointment so I'm really pleased about that they can't fit me in though till the 26th so next Thursday typical um a doctor that I haven't seen before but she's a lady doctor and I kind of specifically wanted a lady just to you know I'm not saying a man can do the same job but I feel like she goes through it the same as me so it's kind of a bit more helpful I don't know so um yeah done that I've also booked in a couple of 
um, classes for my gym stuff and I wrote it on my book. Also just been writing dates down for different things like the kids have got a few things coming up and oh, just trying to keep on top of everything. Graham's coming back for lunch. I look like I've just got up. Obviously I've just had a shower but um, it's five past twelve. We're going to have lunch together. I might, we've got Lowe's chicken breasts to use up and I just don't want them going off because Graham took Lowe's out of the freezer. He took far too many. So I think I might grill some chicken to have with our soup. Having soup for lunch, the, le well, basically the last of the leek, potato and almond. Just reheating it. Um, I've just got some boiled egg, well, eggs on the go for boiled eggs because Graham seems to get through them like nobody's business. You're looking on places we could visit. I've got our new National Trust magazine through. So... We need to start visiting places we haven't been to, haven't we? There's so many. And you can finish that off. We've got some leftover lamb from, when was that? Sunday? Lots of meat. And I've put the chicken breasts in the oven so we can have them for lunch tomorrow. Yeah? Sunday roast, Sunday roast yeah. So we had lunch. I'm just going to help Graham now pick up some eggs um, since I said I would help him. I'm just putting the eggs away. <coughs> right, meeting Graham up at the chicken shed. All the chickens are still in because we've had bird flu come into the UK, if you haven't noticed. Um, yeah, lots of swans died somewhere in Dorset, not that far away from here. We've had them cooped up, poor chickens, since before Christmas. And we were supposed to only have them in 30 days. And then we got a government announcement email, whatever, just say that we can't let them out, I think till March now, I think, beginning of March. So yeah, the only plus side to that is they are laying a lot better, they're laying more, their eggs are bigger, but obviously they are free range eggs so it feels a bit sad that they're having to stay in. They don't seem to mind, um, especially where it's been cold at the moment, but yeah, they've been cooped up for quite a long time and yeah, there's just no chicken about. It's, it's just a little bit sad, you know? They can't just do the usual like they usually would and go out and dig for worms and stuff. They're just inside, enjoying each other's company. Plus, there's 50% off kids for us too. Visit Royal Caribbean. I have been faffling around. I've been looking at my books as well. I'm just making a cup of coffee to take to college with me. I've been sorting out dinner stuff, unloading the dishwasher. I basically... Um, I've done the kids, they've got like mini jacket potatoes. I've been doing these a lot recently. Um, they're so much happier to eat normal white potatoes um, than sweet potato. I mean, uh, um, me and Graham are going to have butternut squash and sweet potato mash. I've got broccoli and then obviously, this is just drying stuff. Um, the, fag the faggots with uh, mushrooms and onions are in there. So yeah, basically dinner is prepped for Graham. He doesn't really have to do much apart from turn on the hops and just keep watch. Yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing, getting stuff ready. Um, yeah, I've got to leave very soon. I'm kind of tired, I don't really want to go to be honest. You know, you just have the, that moment of like, oh, I, don't, I hate going out at like this sort of time. But it'll be fine. I'll be, I'll be fine when I'm there. It's just obviously the initial getting out and just going and just learning. <laughs> Oh, I just my dinner. Oh my gosh, hello, broccoli. Did you have any leftover broccoli or have you just given it all to me? I've got what was left on the plate. Okay. Din, din, dins. How are the uh, faggots? Mm, Faggalicious. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. I didn't really eat much, but. Yeah. Oh, she has dinner at school, though. Back. I'm back from college. It's half past seven. Yeah, we finished early, which is good. It's a really good session, actually. Who's awake? Hello? I'll search for you then. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I've lost them! <laughs> Are they in here? You had a haircut? I also have a haircut as well. Yep. Good. Where are they? I don't know. Yes, you do. I don't know. In the bathroom. <laughs> just walked past Violet. Where? Violet! <laughs> yeah. oh. oh my goodness! Let me meet her. Let me meet her. 
Hello? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that took me ages! You had a haircut, let's have a look! Yes, I won! <laughs> cool dude, your hair looks cool. <laughs> Is there any baby in there? Uh, no! <laughs> oh my goodness, Alistair! Yes, no, Daddy's foot! Go to the fries up. Okay, hide, hide, hide. Oh, I have my dinner. Hide. It's dinner time for me. Okay. Dinner. Yeah. So I'm going to have... I think Graham's just going to crack on and get them to bed to a lie. Chill. Eat my food. I pretty much inhaled that. I'm not even joking. I'm so hungry. Oh, now I feel like I've got belly aches. I ate it so fast. Um, tonight was really good actually. Um, he did do us a little bit of a quiz there, you know, and they ask you questions. They're like, what did blah, 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 and they point at you and you're like, uh, don't know. Like, I don't know, I know the answer, but I can't remember right now. We did pretty much about the um, cardiovascular system. Uh, we've done a lot of this, to be honest, in level two, but it's just slightly more in depth, like these extra things that we need to know on top. So more about the heart, more about blood pressure, like more in depth about everything. So, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Pretty knackered today. It's pretty intense, a lot of the stuff. Um, yeah, I need to get these kids in bed, really, because they're still awake. Look at my stools. One really good thing about them, i found, is that I can get my Dyson under really nicely. I don't have to, like, pull them out. I can just sort of whiz under. Ready? Pull the bullets there. Oh, my goodness. I'm collecting Tara. them. I washed them. Did you? Come on then. But the elves made him breakfast, brunch, Elevens's lunch, tea, dinner, and supper every day. Say good morning. Are you gonna finish that up or am I gonna put the rest of that in the fridge? I've got my usual blueberries, bananas, kale, and a few extra bits. Um what are we doing? What's today? Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I had a lovely sleep. I slept like a log. So cosy. Graham got up about well, his alarm off at five o'clock this morning because he's got marker. He's gone. He, he left at like past five, I think. Who turned on my light? Not me. He did. No, it was fun. It was my ass. And then he turns it back off. Yeah, so we've just been slowly just chilling, having breakfast, sorting stuff out, the usual school day. I'm really achy and I've um I booked myself in yesterday for this morning spinning. <laughs> so I don't know how I'm gonna feel because I was I've literally been achy even while I was sleeping. My body's just been like, oh so sore, my legs. So um that's gonna be interesting. What time is it? I'm not sure if it was 9.30 spin. Oh dear. Amazing sky. It's super icy today. I've had to um, actually defrost my car because it's a frosty day. And it's just completely trashed his room. <clears throat> Cutting stuff up. So I'm getting him to um, clean that up. Brushing teeth at the moment. I need to get myself ready my gym stuff. You getting dressed, baby girl? Well done. She's a bit of a grump. She just wanted to lay on the sofa, but we just don't have time. It's like quarter eight already, and I'm not even dressed. I've just finished at the gym. Ooh, yeah, it was a really good spin session. I really enjoyed myself. I'm definitely booking in again. The lady was lovely. She was actually the same lady that showed me around. Um, yeah, it was really good, really intense. My legs are like burning. They're burning like crazy. Good thing the weather's cold out here, so it kind of cools you down quite quickly. It's uh, 20 past 10. I need to take a parcel to the post office, and then I'm going to pop the super drug to get a few bits, and then I'm going to come home and sort myself out and do a bit of cleaning. Right, I am back. <sighs> yeah, I only spent half an hour um, doing what I had to do, but it's mainly queuing for the post office. It takes so long. I did, however, go into Superdrug because 
I've been meaning to sort out my makeup for ages. Like, I have a ton of makeup, but honestly, it's probably out of date most of it. And I was just, well, I used to be quite an obsessive makeup, makeup person. I used to buy quite a lot of makeup and I used to love it. And I just kind of got out the phase of it and it's just been sat there. So I need to go through my makeup. But I bought a couple of new bits because I just haven't treated myself to any new makeup at all. And I'm literally using eyeliners that are probably about three years old. They're all dry, you know. So I just thought I would have a look because I never look in the makeup aisle at all. I'll show you what else I got as well. I got some of the cotton pads, they do. I got the thick ones and the thin ones, or the smaller round ones. They do buy one get one half price as always. And then buy one get one half price on these little bad boys. Um, I use those for, or buy them free actually. These are compressed ones. These are great for the handbag and for the gym bag. And then I got, they were doing a buy one get one half price on pretty much everything. seeing how little you get but how much you spend so I got this um, foundation it's a Revlon color stay makeup SPF 15 I I was winging it winging it with colors they don't have much color choice but the ivory looks very pink um, and I think my tone's a bit more of a yellow undertone so I went for buff um, it's in shade buff 150 it's for combination to oily skin and it seemed to look nice on sort of the back of my hand and whatever and it looks very similar in colour to my other one so I got that and then I got this as the half price was the Revlon Matte Ultra HD Lip Colour it's a matte lip balm gloss thingy um, but I got it in this colour Seduction thought it's just like your lips but better colour and because it, it's matte I think it might look quite nice um, and then I got my brow drama which I always buy and I think I got this one or, oh no I bought this and then I got this one half price so I got this brow drama crayon um, it's just a really nice really, really lightly like you know like a some eyeliners you have to like scrub your eye this is just really nice it's just basically a brown thick pencil eyeliner so I think it'd be quite nice to do it all over the lid um, and it has like one of the twist up tops and then I also got this Rimmel this was cheap Rimmel just brown dark brown eyeliner yeah that's what I got treated myself why not very very browns and I don't know it's mainly what I wear I don't like anything too out, out there so I just thought I'd get a couple of new eyeliners mainly and a new foundation because my skin is not great. Um, I'm so, so hungry, so I'm gonna make some lunch. Okay, so for lunch, I'm gonna do a chicken salad. That's what I really fancy. And it's pretty much, oh, actually, um, already prepared. We've got the salad. We've got the chicken that I grilled yesterday. I'm gonna put pine nuts on it. I'm actually going to have this for after, which is a papaya. I ate the other one the other day. I'm so addicted to these. I eat the whole thing. I just can't help it. They're so nice. And then I'm going to put in half an avocado, depending on this avocado. I might have to put the whole thing in. It just it feels a bit wrong. I think this might be last week's avocado, so it might be gone off. got my tray. I just couldn't carry in everything, so I'm going head to the lounge, watch some trashy telly, but why not? That's well. It's like 25 past 11. Kind of an early lunch, but I haven't had, had anything post-workout, so I might as well fit it in. And I'm hungry. Oh my God, you never guess what Alistair said yesterday. He was like drawing pictures of things, and I was like, what is that? He was like drawing these specific men and these... I don't know if I've still got it, but it's in his room somewhere. But I was like, what is that? And he was like, oh, it's Minecraft. And I was like, oh, well, how do you know about Minecraft? What's, you know... Do your friends do that at school? And he's like, yes, everyone's got Xboxes. I really want an Xbox. And he was just going on and on. And I was just like, where has this come from? Like school is such a bad influence sometimes with these sort of games and consoles and stuff. I mean, he's always been happy with his 2DS, you know, his Nintendo little thing. And yeah, there's no way he will be getting an Xbox. I said to him, actually... Why don't you save up for one? Like, and when you're a teenager, you can you can buy it with your own money. 
you don't, I said to him, you don't need it. I said, it's not educational, really. I said, these are just games. Um, it's different if it's educational, then it makes a difference and it makes a, it kind of gives you the, the reason why to buy it. But to spend that sort of money on a games console just seems a bit excessive. But, um, yeah, so I had that last night before bed. <laughs> I was like, come on, let's just go read your book, darling. <laughs> done a bit of a kitchen clean up and I've had lunch. I'm just going to tackle my makeup now just because I keep looking at it and also the whole area is an absolute tip. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Graham puts a pile of money there. I've got a shed load of stuff that just needs to go in different places. This drawer actually really needs sorting. Give you a sneak peek. But again, it's just loads of stuff. It's just packed. And again, I've just got so much makeup that I don't use. Oh, I think I need that. Gross that is. <laughs> Look how much space there is though. But um, yeah, I need to just go through this. Now I've laid it all out. This is basically my basket of stuff that I use all the time. Um, clearly, I don't use all of this all the time, so... Again, I just need to go through it and look at things that I just have been there for so long and rotate things because some things are going to be okay. Blushes are pretty good. Um, although, having said that, I think these, I've had these for about five years and they're pretty manky even inside. But I do really like them so I might need to have to replace them maybe in the summer. I've been really brutal actually and I've narrowed it down to like these foundations. So as in, um, oh and that's one of my new ones so these are my most recent buys um, I think my friend actually gave me that one so I'm going to keep that because it's, it's full I don't think it's even been opened so and that's a tester of a double wear um, yeah so I've pretty much like clean oh, it needs cleaning obviously gross um, I've been pretty brutal what I've put in here now I'm going through my lip stuff So much more tidier, emptier. I've got, I've got a couple of bits just to throw in the bin and just find other places for. But I have got a huge bag with this amount of old makeup. Okay, I had a shower and I've just been going through bins because it's bin day tomorrow and I'm not going to be here in the morning. Well, I'm not going to come back because I'm seeing my sister tomorrow. So. I thought I'd just sort that out. I'm going to sit and do a bit of editing. Look how spacious the office looks now. Like there was a pile of stuff here. This unit is going tonight. Someone's coming to pick that up. I do actually need to empty it. I think there might be some stuff, yeah, that I need to sort out. Finally getting my office back for the first time in. Feels like forever. <sighs> space, actually space in here. So I'm going to sit and edit for a bit before Greg gets back. I'm sure he'll be back soon. It's a really nice day though today, so he's probably doing okay at the market. Um, it's just really, really cold. Back home with the children from school, and what are you doing, Violet? Um, so Violet just come home with a plain t-shirt. I think they've all got them in their reception class. They, it says, come to my Alma parade. So yeah, they've got to decorate a white t-shirt. So I've pulled out my box of goodies that I just haven't used in a couple of years probably. These things do come in handy. We've got Fabric Fun dye pastels. These are really good. We've got some paints, fabric paints. We've got some markers. Look, I am so prepared. Look at these, these are all fabric markers. I used to be quite crafty, didn't I? I just have not had the time or energy. We've got glue sticks as well. Look at these. So what are you going to do, Vi? Okay, we're just winging it and just sticking loads of colours on, aren't we? I've done Violet's name and I thought, well, if we decorate the whole t-shirt and then leave Violet white, it might just make it stand out and look really colourful, won't it? Yeah? Some people are doing it tomorrow, some people are doing it today. Are they? And it's got to be in for Wednesday next week. Right, we're getting through it. We've decided what we're going to do for the rest yeah. of it, haven't we? What are we going to do, Vi? Um, how colourful it is. What are we going to do? <coughs> what are we going to put on the back? 
I'm going to get my glue gun and put pom some pom-poms. Pom-poms and gems. And we're going to put gems at the front, shall we? Maybe on your letters. Some pretty gems or buttons, yeah? Get my glue gun out. Okay, this is how we're doing. What do you think, Vi? Is it good? Yeah? Is it colourful enough, do you think? No? You need more colour? I think it's very colourful. I've got dinner on the go. I've literally just put noodles at the bottom, stir fry at the top, and then drizzled over some soy, dark soy sauce. I've got my salmon in the oven already, and I'm doing a salmon, soy salmon stir fry. Rice noodles for dinner. Um, yeah, it's like 20 to 5 already. It's been chilling out. Well, I've been doing Violet's t shirt with her, but yeah, not really been doing much. Alice's literally dragged a box of lego into the lounge and he's been totally flat out doing his lego so happy so he's happy i'm happy you know guilty pleasure when graham goes to the market if he can get a decent chelsea bun he gets me a chelsea bun with icing ah oh, wednesday's treat what are you eating chocolate brownie she had all her dinner so she could have half chocolate brownie with, um, with ballister Kitties are in bed, not not asleep though, nearly, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for someone to actually come pick up this piece of furniture. They're, they're like 20 minutes late already, but she has messaged me. Um, we're watching, we've started watching, what is it called? Delicious. Delicious. Delicious, some sort of like, it's just a mini drama, isn't it? There's only four episodes. But it's got, um, who's it got in it? Dawn French. Dawn French. It's actually, quite, it's actually quite good. But, um... Yeah, we've watched two episodes already and there's only two left, so we'll probably watch them tonight, won't we? And just chill out. <clears throat> They're quite entertaining. About, like, cheating husbands and then he's dying and then, yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Mmm, so interesting. Hey everybody, I've just done Alice's pet lunch. I'm just doing porridge for breakfast. Shock horror. We're not having smoothies this morning. Just fancy something warm and, yeah, just gone with porridge because everyone seems happy to have porridge especially when I mention dates. Oh you up are you? Have a nice lay in did you? No. What do you mean no? <laughs> no you're tired aren't you? It's like ten past seven. Ten past seven. <clears throat> Quite a big batch of porridge for all of us. Start off my morning with a little bit of Lemony water. You okay, bye. Bye, love. Uh oh, we've got tears already. What's wrong, bye? Oh dear. I think it hurt her. Yeah, I know. It's just Thursday. Thursday is just one of those days. Right, I just got to the gym and um, yeah, I dropped the kids off. Ugh, it's so cold today. Well, it says 0 degrees. It was like minus 3 when I, well, got back in the car earlier. So yeah, I'm going to do a quick workout. I'm not going to do anything too intense. I don't want to get too sweaty, but I'm going to have freshen up. I've got some clothes with me to change into and then I'm going to go pick up my mum go see my sister I'm going to take little Jacob my nephew who's 18 months old to soft play so he can play we can have coffee and lunch or whatever um, so yeah that's basically my plan for today before I pick up the kids I'm out for the day which is something I do quite often actually on a Thursday I just sometimes you just need to stay out don't you and just I don't know get out of the house just getting dressed and changed in the gym I actually got my jaw dress on um, I think it's a dress, it must be a dress, but the, I don't know if it's because I am uh, on the shorter side, my slit, my pockets are like really low, they feel low, um, but yeah, I think it's quite nice, I would have preferred to wear a nice statement necklace or something just to make it a bit more, um, I don't know, girlyish maybe, because, but yeah, I quite like it, not the most flattering, but it is comfy, um, I'm going to sort my hair out in a minute, but I'm going to try out some of my new makeup that I got yesterday, so I'm going to try this for the first time. See how it goes. Be up there. I'm hoping it sort of matches my skin tone. You hear that noise? I think they're doing like some sort of cardio combat or I don't know, some sort of workout next door. I 
suffer so much with scarring. My skin just like scars like crazy. I get one like spot and then it scars for like months. I need to get my eyelashes done again. I'm actually a bit disappointed. They've come out really quickly, like a lot quicker than usual. I have gone to a different place and I don't know if it's just because their glue isn't as strong or they do say when it's your womanly hormonal time in the month if you get them done the same sort of time your eyelashes tend to fall out more anyway so i'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt and i'm going to rebook for next week and have sort of the infills which is cheaper than a full set anyway because i still have some left um and hopefully fingers crossed it might last better but yeah i do get quite a lot of fall out daily which is a shame because you know Obviously, I wanted them to last. <laughs> my eyebrows, I'm using the NARS um, blusher in Sin. I've had this for about a year, I think. I can't remember. But you barely, like, need hardly anything. It just gives you a really nice colour. She's gonna do the all over eyebrow. Oh, it's a brow crayon. I'm the biggest idiot. It's a brow pencil. It says brow pencil. <laughs> I'm, I am naturally blonde, if you never knew. I am. I was born blonde and I always dye my hair. I was blonde up until I was about 17 and my friend and I decided to dye our hair dark brown and from then onwards I've always had brown hair. But I honestly thought this was a eye shadow crayon. Hey, I've got seduction on my lips. I think it's quite nice. Um, I'm off to pick up my mum. Oh, my car's such a mess. Oh. You really look, get in your car and you think, oh, vile in here. It's vile, it's just... Um, yeah, off to pick up my mum. It's about 10 o'clock. Two minutes past 10. Okay, back home. I've had a quite a busy day. Been at soft play it? for a couple of hours. Um, we had lunch there, we walked there and back. It was a really nice walk actually. I've already clocked, well, I'm clocked an amazing amount, but nearly 12,000 steps today. Um, oh, these are these little bars. You could try it, but I don't really like them. We kind of got them, got them sent to us, and but if they I... really stick to your teeth. They're really not great. Yep, you can have those five if you want. I... Seems to like them. Do you like them? They yeah. do stick to your teeth though, don't they? Yeah. So look at it. Let me have a look at the bar itself. No, not your teeth. The bar. Yeah, it's kind of like a. Um, it's called Little Beasts. Um, it's basically like a high protein kids bar, I suppose. Low sugar, but they kind of. It's kind of like a protein bar, but with healthy stuff and kind of like promoted mm. for children. It's really that like creamy snacks. at the ends. Yeah, mm. it's got like quite a high calcium in the bar. They are called Little Beasts see that but I personally because I tried one first and I was just like oh and Violet I know she definitely won't like them she's not really into that sort of thing anyway but if he likes them that's fine you can have I'm a, a boy you're a boy I'm a boy so you're gonna have a snack then banana mm. as well it's not quite ripe is it yeah fine I like eating green bananas mm, noticed <laughs> so I had quite a nice day I dropped my mum off it takes quite a, lot, a long time to get from like hedge end to then drop my mum off and then go back to school and I've just picked up the children yeah it's been I haven't really done much as such but it was a nice to catch up with my mum and my sister and yeah back home don't know what the kids want to do but yeah I'm going to have um, really simple dinner tonight we're having prawns and I'm going to do a homemade like tomato veggie sauce and then just stick on whole wheat pasta. Easy. I'm gonna finish off Violet's um, t-shirt. I'm just literally sticking, not, well, I'm gonna be gluing with my hot glue gun some buttons on just to make the colors stand out a little bit more. Yeah, is that a good idea, Vi? Yeah. I love this sort of thing. This is just, oh, this is just my sort of thing. Play Guess Who? You know how to play this? I do. Yeah, you do? Yep. I do. I played it at school. Oh, so me against mummy then. Me against mummy. That well, was quite a long time ago. Because quite fun. as um yeah, they're not quite as robust and you know, they're quite flimsy compared to that original guess who, but hey ho, it's pretty cheap. So we've got hey to stick ho. the faces on. Old Alice. Hmm. Jen. Does yours have a beard? No. 
Uh, yes. A bit like that. Yeah, it's got bulgy cheeks, yeah. And against Violet, who won? Did I win? The first time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, shall I ask you a question? Who won? Me. I won first. Right, is yours a boy? No. Okay. No. So knock all the ones down with white hair. And so into Guess Who. Oh my god, it's such a fun game. I love how the kids get it as well. You know, you just sometimes you play games and you're like, they don't get it and they're not enjoying it because it's a little bit complicated. That game is just such a fun game for like all ages. I think it's like age three plus. Um, I'm just doing dinner actually. Um, it's a little bit later, but the dinner doesn't take that long. So I've just got my water going for the pasta my prawns, my spinach, just sweating down some onions, some garlic and just some dry herbs and then I'm going to add tomato puree, a can of tomatoes and that's pretty much the sort of garlicky sort of veggie sauce that I usually do, that's pretty much the base of it um, and then I'll throw in the prawns last minute and the spinach, yeah dinner done really, serve for pasta, easy, I might add some cheese on top. I want to see if I've got any actually, I'm not sure if I have. My friend was going on about how she was eating this cheese and pickle sandwich today and I was like, do you know what, I don't actually think I've eaten cheese apart from when I do like a homemade pizza. I don't think I've eaten cheese since New Year's Eve, which seems like a long time ago because I love cheese. Giving Daddy the funny knife, I mean the funny fork. No, yeah. There's Daddy. That's what I did with um, Violet's top. Stuck some buttons on. Outside having a field day with the ice on the decking. We absolutely are shame. You're going to come in now, babe. It's freezing, isn't it? Look at that sky, though. It's beautiful. Look at that ice. I love ice skating. Did you? We'll have to go ice skating. We've never been ice skating, have you? Mm. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. Keep it big. Oh, he's a good boy. He's, he's a lucky boy. He didn't want to go out. It's too cold, isn't it, Princess Pickles? Got two, two kids on leap pads this morning. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, children? That's the children. It's nice and chilled, though. I'm not complaining. Graham actually... Because he was up early and then the kids were up early. They got up about quarter seven. And um, Graham fed the children. So all I had to do was sort out dishwasher stuff. Feed myself. I just made myself a smoothie. And just do the usual tidy up and pack lunch. So I've just, yeah, it's, time. it's quite nice that we can just chill actually. It's like 12 minutes past seven. I've already done beds. I've already done school clothes out, so yeah, a win-win for a Friday. This is just like the best so far. And also, they're not bickering. It's always a good thing. We're pretty much ready. I still got to do Violet's hair. Um, yeah, I'm actually doing cardio combat. Cardio combat this morning at 9 to 15. I don't really know what it entails, but I don't know. A lot of cardio and... Yeah, I think it should be good. I will let you know how I get on. I'm hoping I'm going to enjoy it. Okay, off we go to school. It is bitter. Mine is Tuesday. Had to de-ice the car, but luckily I did it like 15 minutes before. I just put the car on. So, yeah, off to school. Bye, yay. Get this day done. We've got a play date after school as well. Where are we going? On the first house. Yeah, I'm going to see little baby Freya. Mummy. Yeah. And my hands are already warm. They are, because they've got big mittens on. But for some reason, my children won't wear hats. So frustrating. <sighs> okay, finished. I absolutely loved Cardio Combat. It was kind of like 
combat as in like you've got to keep fists up and they're doing like pretty much aerobics with your fists up lots of squats then we did abs at the end it was so good i loved it i felt like i really moved my body more than what i would usually and obviously it's loud music and ah yeah i'll definitely be booking myself in for next week i don't know how often they do it but um yeah i'm actually meeting my friend for a coffee she mentioned about doing it so um yeah on the school run so i was like okay but i'm gonna be a bit sweaty and you know so i'm just gonna like refresh <laughs> refresh so i don't smell and um I really need to use some hand sand. I always feel a bit grubby. I've been using these little, I've got a set a few of these, Mercy Handy. Apparently they do them in Topshop, but they have loads of different scents. This one's Black Vanilla, which is my favourite. And they kind of have little, I don't know, bits in them. The kids seem to like them as well, because they smell really, really nice. They have loads of different scents. And obviously it cleans your hands, and I love this sort of thing. I need some lip balm as well. So yeah, I'm going to do that. It's 25 past 10. I'm meeting her at half past, which is just down the road anyway. Just for a speedy coffee. Literally, I can't be too long because then I'm going to help Graham pack some sausages. Okay, back home. <laughs> Literally, a quick coffee turned into an hour and a half of chatting. Really bad. It's because usually um, I see this lady that I, well, friend that I saw. I usually see her at the gym, but because I've been going to a different gym... <laughs> She, um, yeah, we just don't get to chat anymore, which is kind of sad, but it just doesn't work out the right times for her, so she hasn't changed gyms. Um, I'm going to have soup for lunch. Graham's going to come back. I'm going to help him with eggs in a bit, but we're going to have lunch because it is literally lunchtime. It's 12, 10 past 12. I'm going to have this soup. This is carrot and blood orange soup. I don't know if Graham will have it, though. I'm not sure if he, he's a bit funny with some soups and stuff. It smells amazing. It basically just smells like carrot soup. So, I seriously need to get some cleaning done. I feel like this week I have hardly done anything and my main priority most of the time is always the floors. Um, so I'm going to try and hoover and steam mop before, or well after lunch, I'm going to have lunch first, before I go help Graham pick up eggs because it just really needs doing and I keep putting it off every single day I've just been busy and just haven't had enough time just to do it and I, I don't want that on the weekend I do bed sheets and do a ton of washing over the weekend so and obviously the kids are about on the weekend so it's the last thing I want to do especially because they make a mess anyway it's quarter past one I've had a shower washed my hair lightly blow dried it I've hoovered the house which is one thing I really wanted to do get in between like the sofa and everything I've done the whole house haven't steam mopped it's gonna have to wait because i need to help graham um, and i don't have much time before i help graham it takes about an hour and then i have to pick up the kids so yeah i think i'm gonna have to either leave it for tomorrow or this evening oh i just want to quickly see actually if there's any films to watch a little bit of a movie night tonight i think oh. <laughs> they look chunky don't they what are they doing? Right, back home after an eventful play date. Um, yeah, I'm pre feeling pretty tired to be honest. It's like 25 to 6. I'm literally cracking on with dinner. Um, I have steaks. Graham brought in these humongous rump steaks. Look how huge they are, like compared to like my hand. It's huge. Yeah. We're going to have green beans and then we've also got some new potatoes. Baby new potatoes for dinner and I've got us a little chocolate treat. One of those goo pots again. You know what I got last week? The cheesecakes? Oh, then. Yeah. They were on offer in co op and I was like, oh my god, they were so good. They're not big enough though, are they? They are really nice. They're very Moorish, like sickly, I'd say. So you can't have too much of them anyway, but yeah, so. That is dinner and dessert. Simple for tonight. I'm so hungry. Are you hungry? Dinner is done. We've all got PJs on. At least Alison's got a half PJ on. He doesn't really wear PJs. And do I've got you? a half, half book. Hmm. What are we going to watch, Alistair? We're going to have a movie watch. night. Just us two. Not just us two, babe. We're going to have it with Daddy and Violet as well. What are we going to watch? We're going to watch. Steamed him up. 
Alice. I'm gonna watch Alice through the looking glass and what have you got as a treat? Kids at all the dinner. I don't know. Can we swap? Do you want one of those? Me and Daddy have got these. And what I like about these is that you can keep the glass ceramic things as well. I just put them in the dishwasher last time. What um, You can just use it for like, you know when we have like apples and peanut butter? You can use it for sauces. You know when people come over, just put sauces in there. Yeah, these things come in handy, Daddy. You don't realise. 50 P's in it. 50 P's in it? No. Oh, no. Look at those, they do look pretty. <gasps> look amazing, actually. I don't really like Oreo. Oh, my wino on the go, my favourite. I had to quickly stick one in the fridge because I didn't have one chilled. But yeah, needed it for Friday. Friday wino. <laughs> So I actually just wanted to end my video. I didn't end it last night. We watched Alice in Wonderland and then we watched some sort of trashy telly once the kids were in bed. And then we're in bed by like 10, half 10. Um, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. Um, obviously it's Saturday now. I want to edit it and get it up for tomorrow. I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a great weekend. I feel like, oh, I always feel a bit flustered on Saturday because literally I've got to leave at nine o'clock to take the kids swimming lessons. Um, on the plus note, I have managed to make some pancakes which we haven't had in a long time. So, um, yeah, I'm doing, I added, these are buckwheat pancakes and then I added some um, cacao powder as well. So it's slightly chocolatey. So I'm actually really looking forward to these pancakes. Um, anyway, yeah, I hope you have a great weekend and I will hopefully see you next week.